Hey everyone, it's Alvin here from Green Ground, your go-to channel for the latest in movies, TV series, and tech. Today we're diving into the deep waters of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, a film that's been making waves for a variety of reasons. So grab your tridents and let's explore the depths of this superhero sequel. Remember the first Aquaman movie? It was a tidal wave of success, riding high on the superhero craze. But times have changed and so has the landscape of superhero films. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom arrives in a different era, one where the superhero genre isn't the only king of the cinematic sea. This shift in timing and audience taste sets a unique stage for our aquatic hero's latest adventure. The story picks up several years after the original, with Aquaman now the reigning king of Atlantis. But it's not all smooth sailing. He faces challenges especially from the High Council, a new addition that wasn't in the first film. It's interesting to see how Aquaman, a character known for his strength and bravado, navigates the choppy waters of politics and leadership. Enter Black Manta, the villain with a personal vendetta. His quest for revenge leads him to Antarctica where he discovers not just a weapon, but also an ancient evil. This twist adds a layer of supernatural intrigue to the plot, raising the stakes higher than ever. Now let's talk about the film itself. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is like a ship trying to find its course in a storm. It's entertaining, sure, but it doesn't quite make the bold strokes you might expect. The movie plays it safe, sticking to familiar storylines and character arcs. Our hero, Aquaman, starts off reluctant, gradually embracing his role as a leader. It's a classic tale of growth and responsibility, but one that we've seen many times before. The performances are a mixed bag. Jason Momoa as Aquaman brings his usual charisma to the role. Though it feels like he's not fully invested this time around, Patrick Wilson, as always, is a delight to watch. His character gets to have more fun in this sequel, and his chemistry with Momoa is one of the film's highlights. And then there's Amber Heard. Her role has been significantly reduced, likely due to the controversies surrounding her. It's a decision that will please some and disappoint others, but it does impact the film's dynamics. One aspect of the film that deserves a nod is its treatment of environmental themes. The villain's plot to melt the ice caps is a direct nod to global warming concerns. While it's a bit on the nose, it's less preachy than other films tackling similar issues. It's refreshing to see a blockbuster address real-world issues, even if it's through the lens of a superhero narrative. So where does all this leave Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom? It's a film caught in the current of its own making. It's not a bad movie by any stretch, but it's not groundbreaking either. It's like a comfortable cruise, enjoyable, but not particularly memorable. But here's the thing, even a journey through familiar waters can be enjoyable if you're a fan of the genre or just looking for a way to escape into a world of fantasy and adventure Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom might just be the ticket. It's a film that reminds us why we love superheroes in the first place, the escapism, the larger-than-life characters, and the timeless battle between good and evil. In the end, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is a reflection of the times, a superhero film trying to find its place in a world that's rapidly changing. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of these characters and stories, even as they evolve to meet new challenges. So what do you think? Will you be diving into Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more content from Green Ground. For more details and insights, check out the description. And if you have any questions or want to discuss the film further, drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, this is Alvin signing off. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep enjoying the world of movies and tech. See you in the next video.